if you are going to be migrating from a, a curator system prior to 7.3.2, in my case I have 7.3.1 into 7.3.2, the big thing, or one of the big things in 7.3.2 is that it now support an app host. So you can do HA and all the other good things that uh, you do with other uh, hosts in curator versus the app node, which was the previous way of uh, doing this. Uh, so you need to move the data and the apps from the app node to the app host. So you will need to first start by creating an app host that will receive that uh, data and its applications. Now, you'll need to, from Fix Central, you'll need to download the SFS for the migration, as you've done before, as well as the ISO for creating the app host, which we will do in this video. Here's also the documentation I got from the Knowledge Center. These uh, version numbers may vary depending on what is it that you are actually doing. So let's get started by creating uh, an app host. Uh, and we do that by clicking here, you know, new and dragging the ISO image. And this is the same ISO image you will use if you were installing from scratch. And we will use it to create the app host. We are not using easy install and I'm using VMware Fusion for the Mac but you can use whatever uh, is the same. Legacy BIOS is, is good. Uh, customize settings. Uh, I'm gonna call this one app host and I'm gonna put it in the directory of my choice. This particular directory. Uh, the name is a post that's good. Four cores is the minimum that the recommend that the documentation requires because I have lots of apps and lots of data with it. I'm going to put the same uh, 24 gigabyte I had before. Uh, and also the documentation calls for at least 256 gigabyte of this space. Okay, so that's all it, it is required in here. So the process begins. I click uh, here for install and you wait a little bit here and you hit enter. And by the way, plan accordingly. And I'm going to try to give you the, the times that this takes in my demo system. This process of uh, creating the best for the app host takes around 30 minutes. So, and then what I'll do is I'm going to shut down this app host because I will not need it and I don't want it to compete with memory. I will bring my old uh, system my Curator 731 system up and begin the process of migrating uh, the, the data. So I'm going to be pausing these videos uh, when they are not showing any relevant uh, part in it. What is uh, unique in this uh, case is that there is going to be an option when you use the ISO 4732 there is the option, you have an additional option which is precisely for the uh, for the app host. I'm going to pause the video until I get to that part. And while this is running I want to make sure that that you know I'm, I'm using VMware, in particular VMware Fusion in my case, um, but if you are doing this from an appliance, it's basically the same process. You In the appliance, you need to actually tell the appliance what it's going to be working as and it's going to be an app host. So, pause in the video again. Reboot it. Pause in the video again. Well, that took around 30 minutes. And then when you go here and log in, put in root, Again, no password is because it's the first time it's required. You get the license agreement for the curator appliance. And uh, if you agree with it, you type yes. And now is the important part. So 
you move the arrow here, use the space bar to select up host, tap to next, next, we are not doing HA, so we do next, America is fine, New York is fine, IPv4 is fine, that's the MAC address, the host name, I'm going to call it uh, apphost.demo.com, the IP address, I'm going to give it 172.16.60.58, my app node was 57, or is still 57, then networking mask 255 255 255 zero my gateway and in your environment this setup will be different of course I'm using quad 9 as the primary and Google as the secondary DNS I type next, it validates the networking settings and then it's gonna, should be asking me for a password, here it is, password has uppercase, lowercase and numbers. Click finished. I'm going to pause the video in case that this takes a little while. And two minutes later, we are done. So we click here. OK. And in order not to compete with memory, when I'm doing the rest of the installation, I'm showing this uh, image now. And now we have an app host machine ready to receive the data that we will back up from the app node and the applications as part of the migration process. And we will be doing that in the next uh, videos.